Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Candy here today, back again with another Decimate PvP episode, and uh, you know, I got some more updates for you guys. If we go ahead and do F who, uh, I'm in another faction, which is called Bloodlust. So if you guys want to know what happened to Nautica, which is the faction that I joined last episode, uh, majority of them actually got banned for uh, trying to charge back against the server because uh, some of the co-leaders were actually using a mod which allowed you to know when a raid was going on and of course on this server since it's more raiding oriented that, that wasn't allowed so I guess uh, since they kind of got banned they just started charge backing on the server and since they, they were the co-leaders a lot of the members just you know was like hey man if the co-leaders aren't playing and they're moving servers you know might as well we move servers as well so uh, Nautica if we go ahead and do F Nautica uh, you know, they're, they're, uh, not really doing too well. Only a balance of 1.5 million, and I don't even think they're on F-Top anymore. If we go ahead and do F-Top, we can see it's Endless, Jew, Pasta, Gang, KIC, Boom Gang, uh, Salt, and, yeah, like, nothing else is over there. So, Nautica was originally, like, number two when I was in Exile, and then they went over to number one when I joined them and then of course now they've uh, basically disbanded and they're in nothing but I did join this faction called uh, oh my god I already forgot F who it's called bloodlust and the people in it are just people that I've been playing for a decent bit like dev uh, god flame trap king j thunderbolt over there and of course we have some alts over there like true ping and I, I all for fun and of course I think what we're going to be doing is that we're just going to try to be making little bases everywhere we go and minor spawners at the end of the day so like we can try to get the f top value and still win as like a five man faction without really doing too much to get ourselves rated and put ourselves at risk of losing all these spawners because uh god flame he actually has around 230 blazes and a couple uh witch spawners that we managed to save from our old base in exile as well as uh some of the spawners that we did have in nautica so we're just gonna be riding a bit solo basically with uh with the four of us five of us over there and but if you guys look at my inventory we actually have you know five march madness crates five decimate keys and five god crates as well as a spring chest so for this episode we are going to be opening these up and showcasing what is inside of them because there's still some pretty good stuff uh, i'm waiting for like the summer crate which should come out in probably a couple weeks because you know summertime is almost gone it's around april but like it's still snowing od which kind of sucks but either way hopefully it'll start warming up where i live at least and hopefully it's already warm for you guys over there but let's go ahead open this spring chest let's do the x first and then the north, south, I don't know, uh, west, east. And let's see if we can get anything good over there. So we got 32 blocks of emeralds. That's not bad. We got a harvester hoe. Uh, we got a lightning rod, which kind of allows you to do slash lightning a bit. But, you know, instead of doing slash lightning, you just uh, toss the wand at the creeper or whatever. We got a tier 4 pouch of gold, which I guess is going to give me a lot of gold or a lot of money. We got 5 cow spawners. And we got spring leggings, which are prop 5 and unbreaking 5. So, uh, if you guys have ever seen my old videos, there was like prop 6, prop 7, even prop 8. And I'm pretty sure they got away with those, like they did away with them. There are no more of those. But there's still prop 5 and unbreaking 5, which is probably the most OP gear that you can use to make uh, stuff with it. And of course, we got 7 mystery mob generators over here. So let's go ahead and open these. Let's see if we can get anything good. So we got one enderman spawner. We got a blaze spawner over there. Uh, another enderman spawner another one. Oh, that's terrible. We got a cow spawner. That's trash and a pig zombie <sighs> Guys that was pretty bad. I, I I expected at least like one witch or as you know pigman spawner I mean we got like one pigman spawner. It's not terrible or maybe some villager spawners because those actually give iron Which is pretty decent. And if we go ahead and open this we're gonna get four seven eight six two so we got basically five hundred thousand dollars I right off of that so that's pretty good if we go ahead and just toss all these spawners into our PV yeah we, we still have a lot of space over here and uh, we have a decent set on yeah we got we got a spring on we go ahead and do slash spawn oh, I think we're already asked yeah we're at spawn I'm kind of retarded we're gonna go ahead and open up the rest of these crate keys and see if we can get anything good so we got crate keys they're like somewhere over here yeah. uh yeah okay they're right over here and let's see if we can get anything good so we're gonna start opening this off with a march madness crate oh we actually got three god crate keys off of that spring chest too which is pretty good guys so let's go ahead and open up this march madness key 
see if we can grab anything good. If I can get like a full set of gear or a lot of money, that'd be great. All right, 200, 200 MCMO credits. That's pretty good. Because if I go ahead and just slash stats up, we're only at 22 power level. We don't even have unarmed up. We don't have axes up. We don't have nothing up, guys. So I think we're probably going to use this on swords or unarmed as well. And see if we can get anything good from there. So we got another March Madness crate key. Let's see if we can pull anything nice out of this. We got a full prop 5 set. That's pretty good. But it's not prop 5. What? It's pro oh, prop 5 boots. And uh, I guess prop 4 is the rest of the set. Which is, which is not too bad because... Since we did lose our base in Exile and we lost our chest vault in uh, Nautica because people just started selling everything, like, it's pretty good that we've uh, managed to get some gear at least. Uh, we actually got two 208 levels from that, so I guess we can use that to probably enchant some gear, maybe get some books as well. And we got a 10x10 10 10 trench pickaxe, so if we want to start making our base with the new faction, which was like Dev and uh, Godflame, we can, you know, start trenching out, and it's gonna be pretty fast because a 10 by 10, yeah, that's that's a lot. 10 by 10, that's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, like if you smile in here, bro, you're gonna, you could delete this whole column in like a minute, not even like 10 seconds. All right, so that's pretty good. Uh, I think we use all our March Madness crate keys. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and let's do the God ones first because God ones. Uh, I think these are good, but obviously the decimate keys are better because I guess if they're named after the server, they've got to be pretty good. Let's go ahead and open these. Hopefully we get something good, maybe some MCMO because I need some of that MCMO. We got, oh, we got an axe. Wait, what? What does this even do? Oh, fire aspect two. Is this just a regular axe? Yeah, that looks just like a regular axe to me. Looks pretty trash, but we've got eight god crate keys. Hopefully we can at least pull something better out of this. Tier three money pouch and that looks that looks pretty good but i'm pretty sure we got a tier four and yeah we're just probably gonna get like a hundred yeah right one hundred fifty thousand. not terrible guys and let's see oh i can't do my bow right now but after this go ahead and check my balance see what i'm at we've got a gambler tag i'm pretty sure i already have that and this guy's tossing me a book it's an easy tag i'm not easy bud what else is he to tossing me oh we got another gambler tag cool so we go ahead and just slash bow i'm actually at 12 million dollars uh, we could probably buy two which spawners with that but to be honest i don't really think we need to buy them right now we should probably conserve this money and try to buy obsidian gen buckets and we got another gambler tag we don't need one of those those are those are trash i already have all the tags because i'm a youtuber kind of comes with all the chat oh 75 000. yeah guys these last crate keys are not looking pretty good uh we've got 32 hoppers you know what that's actually pretty useful because uh, since we're making the new base, probably in the next coming episodes, we're going to need to make sure that we have enough hoppers on the base. Oh, 25 MCMO credits. Not bad. If we go ahead and do slash credits. Uh, credits, we have 225 credits. Pretty good. I think I'm going to split it up between unarmed axes and... No, just unarmed and axes because, to be honest, I don't need to use a sword. If I could break people's armor, uh, that'll probably be the best thing. I think we got some more hoppers. Did we? Did it? Does it say in chat what I got? No, it didn't say anything. I wasn't really looking at my screen. I was kind of just looking at the chat right there. But we still got five decimate crate keys to go. Uh, drop a like in the comments below, guys, and comment down what do you think I'm going to be getting from these decimate keys? Because if we go ahead and look over there, uh, you know, we can get a ton of stuff. We can get what five by five, forty-eight hoppers, tier four money pouch, one percent. That's that looks pretty good. Let's see if we can get something good. We got three hundred sixty-two thousand dollars and three hundred sixty thousand seven hundred dollars. Not bad. And let's see if we can open up another decimate crate keys. I wish there was like um what's it called bedrock on the server so you you can make unrateable bases and hey man just big fan thanks uh thanks for being a fan guys let's see if we can let's see if we can pull something good out of this if we can get like five hundred thousand dollars or maybe some more decimate crate keys 120 xp levels i don't need xp man that's trash Ooh, man i don't need xp i feel like i'm just gonna die with it i'm cmo right i'll take mcmo mcmo is great i can use that on my next uh set of gear well, next set of gear, I can use that on my uh, axes. And we got $150,000. That's not bad, but I think I think we're out of keys. I don't want to, yeah. I think I'll just leave the rest of those other keys in my e-chest for uh, another episode. But we're looking we're looking pretty solid. We're up to uh, $13 million right now. $13,500,000 to be exact. We've got a trench pickaxe, which we can use on the base. we got 32 blocks of animals. You know what? I can actually convert those and sell these, sell hand. And that made us, a, what, like... 
let's see, 4 times 8 is 32, $36,000 right there. You got gambler tags. Do, do we have these? Let's see, easy tag. Yeah, I think I already have that. And gambler tag. Yep, we got we got both those. I don't know. Whoa, we got coal. That's trash. We got spring chest play, lightning wand, harvester hoe. But at least we got a couple uh, stacks of hoppers because we can always use that on the next base. Pretty trash axe. And I'm pretty sure that is it. We didn't really get too much. If we go ahead and go, oh, I can't actually go to my home, but if we go ahead to my home box over here, if it even lets me TP because it's in enemy territory, if it lets me TP, I'll go ahead and show you guys what happened to Nautica base. So this is the Nautica base. Uh, you know, we got like some pots over there. Actually, let me grab these uh, ender pearls and see if I can show you guys what happened. If this, if this even like allows me to sh see anything. Yeah. So like this whole base is just kind of watered up. I think they're- wait, are there still blazes in there? Oh my god, there's still blaze spawners in there, but I don't think we can get them, to be honest. Let's see, how many blaze spawners are in here? We got one blaze spawn, two blaze spawner. Can we mine these? Let's see. Uh, FM- oh, another faction named Dead owns them, so I think the only way we can actually get these is to keg and probably fishing rather them up, but, I mean, it's only like 15 blaze spawners. It's not really worth too much money. Uh, we could probably get them in like a later up, but I don't I don't have the supplies and kegs and stuff to do them now. But anyway, guys, I think that is going to be it for uh, this episode of Decimate PvP. If you guys did enjoy uh, the crate key opening and the spring chest opening, go ahead and drop a like down below. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Come check out the server if you guys want to. It's pretty fun. A lot of players on still. I think we go ahead and do slash list. Uh, we've got 335 on. A lot of them are all so. That's probably why you guys don't see too much in the chat. But still a pretty fun server. A lot of competition over here. You guys can see how often I'm switching factions. Because people just get raided. And then they get inside and banned. It's a lot of fun. Uh, definitely a different area from uh, Cosmic, where it's like, you know, inciting is totally illegal and it's not really raiding, raiding oriented. So, a lot of fun, guys. But either way, I'll see you in the next episode. Peace out.